Let's do this video. My body's ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. I know you like that tongue action. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Today you lovely people are in store for another tutorial because I'm going to show you how you can create your own 3D Fortnite thumbnail on your mobile device, no computer required, no USB required. It's gonna be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as a cheesy as it's <laughs> But yeah guys, if you're interested in getting thumbnails that look like this, and this, and like this, and even like this, if those are the kind of thumbnails you're looking to make, stay tuned and watch this video. Also like the video up, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll hook you up. To get this started, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is load up your Fortnite game and head over to your replay section. Load up one of your recent games, doesn't matter which one, just make sure you're going to the Fortnite main island map, if that's what you choose. Well, really, you can choose any map. It can be creative too, if that's what you wanna do. But the point of all this is that you wanna go onto the map so you can get a nice screenshot of a location. So in the example here, you can see that I went to the Slurpee Swamp and I got the nice snow top mountain in the background. Uh, there was another one where I was on the beach and got a nice shot. So just, just play with your, your focal length and just try to get a nice shot. And when you're ready to take a screenshot, all you have to do is take your PS4 controller and then just tap the share button once scroll down the list and you'll see the screenshot option and select that and that screenshot will save to your capture gallery. Now the next part here, you're ready to take that screenshot, move it over to your phone. So now there's two ways you can go about doing this. The first way is that you can message it kind of to yourself even though you really can't. Uh, PlayStation doesn't allow you to message yourself. So what you can do is either make a separate account or you can message the photos to a friend. What I ended up doing was I navigated over to the messaging section of the PlayStation and I found the friend that I wanted to just send the screenshots to. I attached and sent each screenshot and the message to him that I want to get onto my phone. Once I was done sending the photos to him, I downloaded the PlayStation messaging app. I logged in with my regular PlayStation credentials. I was able to go straight to our conversation and I saw the screenshots right there and I was able to easily download them. Now in the case you don't have a friend you feel comfortable sending screenshots to, then you can also create a new PlayStation Network account. Use that PlayStation account to log into the messaging app on your phone and then send the screenshots from your other PlayStation account from your PlayStation and you'll still be able to view and download those screenshots straight to your phone. If for some reason you don't wanna get the screenshots through that method, there is an alternative. You can download the PlayStation Remote Play app, sign in with your PlayStation credentials on your main account once your remote play session is established, navigate over to your Capture Gallery application on the PlayStation, select Fortnite, and then find the screenshots. Once you find it, select that screenshot, and then wait for the buttons on your screen to disappear. Once that happens, go ahead and take a screenshot of the screenshot using the command or the buttons on your phone, and it'll save through that method. All right, so if you're following along in the video here, at this point, you should have your screenshots that you took on your PlayStation 4 over to your mobile device at this point, and you're ready to start editing these thumbnails to be looking dope so you can get those clicks on your videos. You're gonna blow up, you're gonna be viral, you're gonna be famous. Who doesn't want that, right? <laughs> For real though, as long as you're having fun with this, that's the most important part. It's gotta come from the heart, not for the clicks. So let me show you guys the apps that you wanna download. Here they are. I personally like these two apps for editing anything on my phone. Oh my gosh, my voice got a little dry there. But download PixArt and download Snapseed. These are two beasts of applications that are free to use and they are packed full of awesome resources. So let's start off with PixArt. When you first launch the app, you're gonna have to log in with Google or Facebook. And then once you're in, it kinda has an Instagram vibe to it, but we're not here to have a second Instagram account. We wanna edit our thumbnails, correct? So let's just go to that middle button there and press the plus icon. And I'm gonna find the thumbnails that I just downloaded, which are right at the top, as you can see. So let's go ahead and select I like, I like this one where I'm at the Slurpee Swamp and it has that, that nice snow top mountain in the back. It looks cool. So we wanna make this into more of a blurry background effect. So all you gotta do is go to effects right there 
and we're gonna go to blur. If I select what I just selected, again, I'll get the options to come up so I can change how blurry I want it. That's like super blurry. I don't even know what was in the background, but I just want it to be a little bit blurry. It's still recognizable to what it could be, but it's not too bad. You can also add a fade to it if you really want, but that kind of just, uh, it kind of makes it back to normal. So I usually, I don't mess with the fade too much and select apply on the top right. The next thing you can do here, and this is the super fun part, is select sticker. But you can type in Fortnite in the search bar, press search, and look at this. You'll have all these different Fortnite skin options, pickaxes. You also get some logos like the Victor Royale uh, logo there. There's a minty pickaxe. Uh, there's some guns here as well. You, there is such a large selection, more than I've ever been able to find online more than what fnbr.com has like they have the png where you can copy it and then put it in the photoshop and make your own thumbnails which is what i've done a lot but these these are damn they're very custom <laughs> and if you look at some of these stickers they have real animations that you can't possibly create in fortnite unless you have blender or you're into real 3d graphic designing but this is cool that they have this so let's just go with this skin here so I'm gonna actually put her on the side here, like that. Let's do her like that. Uh, keep the opacity 100, that's cool. Uh, you can also make adjustments though if you wanna up the contrast or something like that. Um, maybe you can up the saturation. Saturation is okay to usually mess with a little bit. But once you have it pretty much where you want it, you can select apply and select apply again and that'll save it to the thumbnail. Some other things you can add, more stickers. Let's try to find the Fortnite logo. So I think I found it last time by typing in Fortnite uh, PS4. And if I scroll down here a little bit here, there's the logo, Fortnite. So I can put the Fortnite logo in here. Let's add the kill icon too. So we'll do Fortnite kill. Uh, there's like either, any of these icons work pretty well. Let's go with this one here. All right, that looks good. I'm just gonna apply that. And we need some text. I say this app is a beast when it comes to text. So let's go in here and let's just type in, let's say we got 20 kills cause we're just that good. There you go. And we can actually adjust the font too really nicely. It has a whole bunch of font options. We can even blow it up here and just scroll through what font do we like the most. Now let's just go with this one here. That looks kind of cool. We can even add a stroke to it to make it stand out a little bit like that and apply. And just that easy, I have a finished thumbnail that I can upload to YouTube and save. So let's also check out Snapseed. I use this app mainly just to buff up the look of the photo. Sometimes it'll have some presets here for you that you can use just to make it pop a little more. I'm just pressing the screen so I can see the before. And now that's the after. Look how, how it accentuates the look of the thumbnail. If you want that, just press the check mark, you can keep it. Uh, but you can also check out the tools. There is a little bit of a learning curve to this application as there's just a lot of different settings. But I say the main parts to stick with are the, the tune image. So you can adjust the brightness of the thumbnail like this. Go ahead and adjust the contrast. The saturation, these are like all the, the big the big key things that you would you would edit. Ambience if you'd like, highlights, less highlights, more highlights. And I'm done with this section, so I just select the check mark and go in the details, add some more structure to it, and also the sharpen. You can maybe make it slightly more sharper. If you really want to get a little crazy, you can go with the glamour glow here, and it really just glows it i don't know what to say i don't know th what this effect is but it really glows it up but we'll keep it like this and we will export it that looks pretty freaking dope dude if you're ready to upload that thumbnail to a youtube video go ahead and make sure you have youtube studio downloaded if you don't have that downloaded already are you really a youtuber <laughs> i'm gonna hop into one of my videos right here this is an unlisted live stream i'm gonna go and select the edit icon and from here i'm just gonna select edit thumbnail and I'm gonna just change it. And we're gonna use that most recent thumbnail that I just made. Look how, look how nice that look. That looks beautiful.
The beauty here within that PixArt application is that there's so many skin options, so many customization features, just like what I showed you in the beginning of the video. Those are all thumbnails that I made using PixArt and then just touching up and bringing out the colors and everything else in Snapsea. It just looks so good, man. Like, Use this, guys. If you don't have a PC editor, it looks just as good. Some people won't even know the difference. In, in, in some cases, man, that looks a little better than whatever I've been doing on the computer. I'll be honest. Computer went off. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was informative. You learned something. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. Again, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel with the post notifications on. It helps me out a ton. You have no idea, guys. I know I say it a lot, but it really does, especially if you want to keep helping me grow this channel. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment a heart. That's right, a heart. Put that in the comment section and I will know you made it all the way to the end of this video. So mad props to you, man. Thank you very much. That's gonna be it for me, guys. I will see you guys very soon. Peace out. Oh, you still here? Go check out the link description below. I'm doing a giveaway. Follow the Gleam link. It's pretty straightforward. All right. Bye.